Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is not going to be a tutorial video or any kind of screencast like I regularly I used to do in my channel, but I'm pretty excited about today's screencast because I installed Bash on Windows, which is the Ubuntu 14.04 integrated right into your Windows PC, which is amazing, which is pretty exciting. I'm and uh, let's take a look at that. I just installed that just a few minutes ago. And here I have that bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Boom, and there you go. This is the bash, and this is Ubuntu, and this is running Ubuntu 14.04. And it's pretty easy to install if you didn't do that yet. You can just Google that straightforward how to install bash on Windows 10, and just about a few amount of clicks ahead. And this is running Ubuntu 14.04, and uh, we can check this as well. Yeah, there we go. Ubuntu, and the version is 4.04, and that's it. So I'm pretty excited about and about it, and I'm gonna install Node.js. I didn't do that. I didn't yet install Node.js in in an environment like this, but let's give it a shot and let's see if it works or not. Because I use, I do believe that Linux is a great operating system for servers, and apparently it didn't work for me for day-to-day -day computing stuff like that because i'm not just a programmer i used to do design i used to do a lot of other other things that depends on a lot of other applications that didn't support linux or i don't know why just my personal experiences so let's install node.js on ubuntu bash i'm on the node.js official site and uh, I'll go to other downloads option and from there I'll go to um, installing Node.js using the package manager and I'm gonna use the Ubuntu based Linux distribution alright I think this is this is the commands that we need to do uh, we can install um, node 6 or node 7 I think I'm gonna go with the node 7 Node.js version 7 so I just kind of copy this and in my uh, bash I'm gonna paste it back and hit enter um, okay asking for my password oh man are you... it is working who I really can't wait to see how it works I'm pretty excited because I used to always think that a Linux subsystem is not perfect for me to use as, a, as my primary desktop because all the time I used to write a lot of code besides that I used to do a lot of design stuff kind of video editing stuff we can do this in a Linux subsystem as well but that's not the best way to do it because Linux is okay sorry guys <laughs> you can tell me I'm a little bit more excited than I used to be. All right, so it seems that it completes the download of Node.js. Now it says that app get install Node.js as root to install Node.js version 7 and npm. Wow. <laughs> really? So let's do this. I will I would hit Ctrl and L that will clear the window. And I will type in sudo apt get install dash y node.js. I can't wait to see what happened next. Um, okay, sounds like it's working. Uh, yeah, so let's see. It took a few minutes to start the installation. But I think that is totally okay for me. And it says that it's installed Node.js. 
well I'm pretty excited at this moment because it's something that that would really change how I write code because I used to use Vagrant all the time in Windows PC and that is kind of like a like a hard work for for me as a programmer wow no it worked Woohoo! All right, so it, it's working. And as you can see here, I got the Node version seven and NPM version four, which is impressive. Uh, this is Ubuntu fourteen point four in your Windows environment. So this is not like an emulator, em emulator, or not like a virtual environment. It just sit besides the Windows, and um, this is emerging. I would say. Um, I think now I'm now I will test an app here, but I'm gonna close. I, I mean I'm gonna stop the video here uh, because it's it's working, and I can't catch up with my excitement going. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video, and if you have anything to say to me, you can tweet me at my Twitter handle at RocketTZ. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button.